Okie dokie. All right, so this is just going to be a pretty quick one, hopefully, but um, it is something that I have gotten a couple of requests on. Um, so we're just going to be going over how to add custom icons to um, models or uh, items in the game. So uh, if you've looked at any of my other guides that have to do with like model porting or something like that, so you, you know, or a shield in this case, and you want an icon for it so it matches the shield you have in the game, um, that would be where you would kind of fall in line for this guide. Um, but before we get started, I just want to plug my Discord. It's just going really quick. Uh, the community is really cool. And we are doing a giveaway of up to three Elden Ring uh, keys of a winner's platform of choice when i hit 500 subs here on youtube and that giveaway will be taking place in the discord so join up and hang out if you're interested in such things um up to you but we will go ahead and get started here the first couple things you're going to want to do um i like to have mod engine here because then I can separate anything that I change. I don't have to worry about breaking anything. So over here on the right, we have our game directory. I have it unpacked using UXM. So we have all of these folders. What I went ahead and did is I went and copied the menu folder right here, and I pasted it into the mod folder here. Um, so that way any changes I make are made separate from the game directory so they're not permanent or they don't get stuck or break the game or something like that. So if it's broken, I can just delete this and then restore it. And, you know, you get the point. Um, the other stuff you're going to want is something like Photoshop with the um, DDS um, add-ons for it and that kind of stuff or paint.net, uh, kind of whatever you want to do there. But we will go ahead and just kind of start with the process here. So I copied over menu over here. We're just gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna go into high and low. Uh, the difference here effectively is that high is the high resolution images um, and icons, low is low resolution icons and images. They're both used for different things, but for the sake of this, we only need to really cover one. So we're gonna go into high here. Um, and then using Yabber, what we're going to do is we are going to unpack uh, one common TPF DCX. So we're just going to drag that over to Yabber EXE. It's going to give us a little folder here. And then I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to set it aside real quick, just in case we break something. Um, we have a non messed with unchanged version, so we can just right back in there um, should something require that. We will go ahead and open up this real quick and then right here you're gonna have a bunch of DDS's that are uh, different sets of icons um, since if I'm remembering correctly uh, the shield that I did a swap for is I put the, the crest shield from Dark Souls 3 into Elden Ring and I want to do an icon for that so that should be SB icon 3 but you can honestly click on these and just open them up um, and look through them. So we're gonna just open this up in Photoshop really quickly here. Blah, 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 takes forever. Doesn't really matter for these specific sets of items. So right here, you can see all of the shield icons here. Um, the icon for the heater shield is this one right here that I have my eraser cursor over uh, right there. So I'm gonna actually erase that and then paste the crest shield over it, but I'm actually going to uh, full screen here and then I'm gonna zoom in on the shield here just so we can kind of get a more clear idea of what's going on with that. And then I'm gonna go file and then I'm going to go ahead and import. Yeah, there it is, I'm just blind. Oh shit. You know, it's easier for me to just do this. I'm just going to grab it right here. Drop it in there. Easier for me. So it's obviously a bit big. I'm just going to scale it down and I'm going to try and get it kind of close in size here. Um, it's obviously a different shape, so it's not going to be 100% the same, but uh, something generally of this 
size is probably permissible. You don't want to uh, deviate too far outside of the bounds that are already there though, otherwise um, the icon will get cut off or something like that. So that seems like that's a good enough place. I'm actually just going to go ahead and hide that and then select layer zero, which is the background here. And I'm going to just erase that. And then I'm going to put it back. Um, so what we do is we're going to go to file and then we're going to go and save as, and we want to save not as until texture works here. We want to just do DDS. Um, if you do not have this extension here, um, it is this link right here. I'll put that in the description. Um, this link for some reason is a bit iffy on uh, cooperating with downloadings. If you can't get the download, we do have the download in my Discord server. Um, you can snag it from there, um, all that kind of stuff. But once you have that all set up in there, you would just go right on ahead here, drop that down to DDS. And then I'm actually gonna just go right on ahead down to the bottom here and we're gonna find the one we're replacing. It's 3A right here. And I'm actually just going to delete that because we're gonna be saving in its place here. And then we're just gonna leave this exactly as it is. Press okay. And then I'm gonna minimize this. And as you can see, the one that we just swapped is this one right here. Uh, and now you can see it um, for one reason or another, it becomes visible after you save it again doesn't really affect anything with your game or anything like that though. So we're just going to back up. And then since we already pulled common TPF out, we're just going to repack this now that it's got its changes made. And since that's already in our mod folder and everything, we can actually go to our um, mod engine bat right here and launch Elden Ring that way. And then if all went correctly, this will have replaced the icon um, that you see in your user interface um, or your, your HUD. So let's see here. Yep, and so you can see uh, down on the bottom left there, the icon for the shield is there now it is all matched up uh, that will be what you see in the um, menu uh, for like going through and selecting uh, things of that nature so that works for literally any um, icon that you can pull up uh, whether it's armor weapons souls items um, anything of that nature you can change their icons um, one thing that we will cover in our next video here is going to be uh, how to edit the text for an item so that as you could have seen there still said it was the heater shield um, and the description is still going to be that of the heater shield um, i'm going to do a follow-up video to this on how to change the text um, of those items so that you can fully replace an item with a different um, text or anything like that um, that change right there will not have made a full change to your um, icons in like shops and certain menus so what you need to do is you would need to go and change that in the solo tpf dhd here you want to grab that and then unpack it Do -do -do. takes a long time because it's actually a really big folder with all those different things there. And then I'm actually just going to take both of these and I'm just going to delete them. If I need them, I'll just restore them from the recycling bin. But those are both going to be replaced when we repack. So um, I don't know what the heater's ID is off the top, the heater shield's ID is off the top of my head. So a really useful tool for that is actually using Yapped um, right in here. You can go, once you have Yap set up, I have videos on setting that kind of stuff up. Check it out or ask in the Discord. But um, if you have yapped just go to your param weapon or protector good whatever it is select it and then on the right side here you'll be able to see icon id field uh, so we're going to be looking for 12069 i'm just going to copy it and then i'm going to paste it in here and then here it is I'm just gonna unpack that by double clicking it because I have it set up for that shortcut. If you don't, just drag and drop it. We're gonna open it up. 
Set it up. Okay. Here we are. Here's the heater shield. And then we're going to do the same thing here, actually, where I'm just going to drag and drop. And then we will try to scale it to be of appropriate sizing for what we're doing here. Um, I'm going to say something like this is probably fine. You may have better luck if you pull um, the item at a higher uh, resolution or something like that, but it's not really a big deal because it's going to be pretty small on the screen, but you will see a, a difference here, obviously, in the Dark, Dark Souls 3's um, items and icons were not the uh, same. They, they didn't have the same voluptuous looks. So we're just going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to hide that, get rid of that, and then I'm actually just going to make a racer very big. Yes. Yes, we are. We're going to just delete that bad boy. And then we have the crest shields still sitting there. We're going to go file, save as. We will actually go around ahead and delete that one because we're replacing it. DDS, not Intel DDS, just DDS. Save, leave this alone. And that should be all good and done. And then we can back up out of here. You're going to actually want to delete this one that's already packed. Um, because if you go and repack while well, that's still there, it's going to pack a backup file, not actually uh, overwrite that one. So we're going to repack it now that that one's been deleted. Back up, back up, and then we're going to repack the solo again. And it's going to give us those two fields right here again, EPF, BDT, and BHD. And then the same thing will have happened there. You can launch the game and it will be in the um, shop menus or anything like that if the item is applicable or in one of those menus. If it's not in one of those menus, it really doesn't matter, honestly. I um, don't know why I even started it because I'm not going to go find that in a shop to show you. Just there's the process. Um, so, yeah, that's how you change icons. You can import custom icons for custom items, um, whatever the case. But uh, hopefully that is helpful to some people. I will follow up with a text editing video uh, either later tonight or tomorrow sometime uh, to kind of really flesh out the entirety of importing like a custom thing. Um, so keep an eye out for that uh, and sub or leave a like if that was helpful. I'll catch you guys later.